This is the fastest way to re-gear on Vondel. I got a fresh operator. We're gonna jump right into Vondel here. Welcome to the DMZ. And the first thing you're gonna wanna look at on your map is the aquarium. This is the, by far, probably my favorite place Got to re-gear on Vondel. Uh, there's a way you can get up without using a key. You can get inside, tons of red crates, almost always self-revives, three plate vests. And in my case, there actually was another team here. So I'm doing a little recon, unlucky because it's also in the radiation zone. So if this happens to you, you can either grab uh, one of the scuba steve masks at a gas station on the way over there are like always like three on the shelves in there So that's a pretty, pretty quick pick up um, But I see this LTV coming so I know there's players around Decide to play it a little bit slow hide a little bit again still have the one plate. We just got Got lucky with that UAV. We can see there's a couple players inside uh, So I opt to just go back to the same way and try and sneak in What you're gonna do is where I came and hit initially you're gonna come here and climb up the side of the building. It's super easy. Uh, again, I'm being a little bit stealthy here, but you kind of just go up and around and, and that's it. The elevator is to the my right up here and you just literally drop down. You don't have to open any of the doors and you're inside. One, you're entering a well, I get a little bit lucky here and the player is just not paying You'll attention. Uh, that's the benefits of sneaking in. So I grabbed the three plate, head. boom, video done. We got the three plate, we're re right now. <laughs> so um, we grabbed this vest here. There was another player here, so I'm a little bit cautious Ultra about it, but um, I decided to be the good solo player that I am. A nice friendly DMZ player and, and pick him up. Of course, taking the three plate as that tax, but as you see, there's already look boom you got a gas mask if you didn't grab one already from gas stations which are everywhere on this map all these red crates open tons of weapons if you need it if you didn't have any to bring in there's a few three plates here i found three or two in this building rather plus the one that was on his back not sure if he had one um but again this is just honestly super defensible as a solo player there's very limited ways to get in uh, just that rooftop spot unless you have the key um and it always has everything you'll possibly need to get looted up real quick and be on your way with what you really came to do. If you need kill streaks, I always look for these boxes here. Happen to catch another little catch and release situation here, but uh, there's almost always kill streaks you can grab in here or any valuables out of these boxes. Something else you can do if you need more cash right away is you can actually go and take on the bullfrog here. Usually I just get in front of him, hop right on the front, and you just start shooting the engine. After that, you should blow up. Make sure you have a self revive just in case, um, but he will drop uh, a lot of valuable stuff here. If you need a two plate, if you didn't get one out of the aquarium, you can find him here. More, another self revive. Uh, usually a kill streak. This one happened to be just a loot one, but uh, that's another thing that you can grab as well. That's pretty much it. Let me know if you found this helpful uh, to help fully get regeared as a solo in DMZ. Good luck out there.